YouTube Salivate Metal here. We are now witnessing another new cyber attack that is spreading in uh, Europe and Russia and even here in the United States. And uh, computer systems from Russia to the United States were struck on Tuesday in, in an international cyber attack that bore similarities to a recent assault that crippled tens of thousands of machines worldwide. As reports of the attack spread quickly, the Ukrainian government said that several of its ministries, radiation monitoring at the Chernobyl nuclear facility, local banks, and metro systems had been affected. A number of companies, including the Danish shipping giant Maersk, Rosneft, and the Russian energy giant St. Gabain, and French construction materials company, and WPP, the British advertising agency, also said they had been targeted. And in the first confirmed cases in the United States, Merck, the drug giant, confirmed that its global computer networks had been hit, as did DLA Piper, the multinational law firm. It remains unclear who is behind the cyber attack. Like the WannaCry attacks in May, the hack on Tuesday takes over computers and demands digital ransom from the owners to regain control. So according to Rob Wainwright, executive director of Euro Europol, Air Europe's police agency, he said, we are currently responding to reports of another major ransomware attack on businesses in Europe. Computer experts were calling the virus Petya uh, and said it was uh, similar to the WannaCry attack, which spread quickly across much of Asia and Europe. Others cautioned, however, that it could be yet another type of ransomware. Uh, so I can continue reading here, but it's, uh, it's, it's fascinating because, you know, the ransomware virus was actually a very simple, um, virus. And if you were updated with your windows security updates and the like, you were safe from it. And if you didn't open up any, any unknown attachments, but it just goes to show you that even after the ransomware attack, I don't know what this one involves. And again, I haven't read the entire article here. Um, well, in fact, here's one quote that says, Carl Herberger, Vice President of Security of Radware, says, just because you roll out a patch doesn't mean it'll be put in place quickly. So uh, the bureaucracy of these networks, and there's other effects of network security and the like that are that are talking about, you know, it's it just goes to show you how vulnerable our networks are. And uh, if your networks are vulnerable, that means the infrastructure itself is vulnerable as well. And how does this play with precious metals? And, uh, well, it sort of does have an effect because typically when thing, things like this happen, you know, if it can be very serious and knock out, you know, literally, the and, uh, you know, infrastructure like, you know, traffic lights and the thing and the type, that could spawn a sort of a black swan event if it's large enough. And everything has been so computerized and based off of uh, a lot of the technology and the like is run off some sort of software. And uh, so this is another type of thing that could affect gold and silver prices. But also uh, the cryptocurrencies are also affected by such a thing. And a lot of people were finding out a lot of younger folks are moving towards, towards the cryptocurrencies when in the past they may have been uh, involved in gold and silver. It's not to say that some people aren't involved in both, but certainly some resources and some uh, some people that were investing in, in cryptocurrencies were also investing in precious metals. And what could happen is they may move back towards precious metals if they see some sort of instability with exchanges or the networks that uh, that in the blockchains interruptions and that that type of thing but we shall see so far i've been kind of watching and there's not been a whole lot of movement in the uh, cryptocurrencies they're still kind of sort of in a decline here between ethereum and bitcoin and uh litecoin has seen some of somewhat of a decline too since the recent crash but overall it's up but nonetheless there's um, a lot of different things going on in the world today and these kind of hack, hack attacks and the like that are making headlines in the news are, are of some concern. And it could have some effect on precious metals. 
in the long run. And this is just the beginning of this. Who knows where, where it will lead after the initial news reports come out. You know, who knows how it may propagate. You know, a lot of these things are Trojan horses and can become very complex. The WannaCry uh, virus uh, ransomware was pretty simple. And it was stopped based off of an accident, actually. And it was never really done anything more since then. So uh, news to come about this, I'm sure. We'll all be paying attention. Hope you enjoyed this video. Post your thoughts in the comment section below. I'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude to y'all for watching. And encourage you to please rate, comment, and subscribe.